you think so, Doc? Well, for better or worse, bad lighting or not, I'm here with another update. Uh, but before I begin this one, I do need to make a disclaimer. This is not a beauty channel. I am not a beauty expert. Uh, I'm just somebody who makes comics, voice acts, acts in film, whatever. Um, would love to get back on stage because that was fun. And uh, although I do try a lot of beauty products and I love to experiment, I don't really consider myself an expert. And if I do decide to review a product, it's because I've used it for a while and I feel I have valid input or there's a warning that needs to be put out, and I feel that people should know. This is a beauty channel. Okay. So, but I do want to talk about some things I've been doing over the past year, year and a half, two years. I I have um, I want to show the progression of how it's changed. So, first, I want you to see. This is me. This is me, November 2018. This is. After years, and I do mean years, of diets and action, and yes, working out, I was actually very strong, uh, which actually helped me later, but we're just going to this. And just really, really doing my best and not getting anywhere despite my best efforts. We are talking, watching sugar, I mean, uh, you name it, I mean. But, of course, back then, because of me and my husband's schedule, I did eat out more than I do now because, you know, it's the way life was. But it, I was still trying to moderate it, and nothing I did worked. The, the, the weight pounded on – well, it turned out that I had a problem with my vowels, vowels um, and I've probably had it since my mid-20s at best. Uh, ever since my tubal, actually, I knew, I literally nearly died. Uh, you know, it was just you know mixed diagnosis after misdiagnosis, and when I'd go in with a problem, the medical experts would be more concerned with when did you have your last mammary gland scan, as to what I was there for. So it was years of just not being um, heard. I had a role with a play and uh, nearly died literally, and had to go through that, and, you know, but I had started to lose weight when, right then, finally, because of one thing I had changed, one thing I had changed that I had been doing wrong the whole time, and it was when I ate, and I started using a measuring cup to measure how much I ate, um, to try to cut back and shrink my stomach pouch. I also had been doing Retin-A. I had been doing Retin-A and face masks and had picked up a skincare regime so that I went to the Ulta one day and had this woman just walk up to me randomly. Oh my God, your complexion is so amazing. And it's like, at the time I couldn't figure out what it was I was doing. <laughs> now I know it was the vitamin C serum. But you can see in the old picture, my skin really looks great then already. Um, but I kept going at it and I lost 60 pounds. Then I ended up in the hospital, and I gained 30 of those pounds back, and I have been struggling to get them off again. And then I picked up face yoga. So to reiterate, currently my routine is as I get up, I will, I, uh, first thing I do is I do 30 minutes of face yoga. I have a routine, a playlist routine that shows me random stuff because um, I don't like it to be bored. I mean, there's some exercises I try to do regularly, but and I do that. Um, I've been doing that a couple of months now, and then I wash my face, and then I will put on my beauty stuff and a little bit of sunscreen sometimes. Um, I'm actually kind of iffy about the sunscreen. I'm suspecting it's making the wrinkles worse here, and uh, then I'll do my hair, and I won't always put on makeup because I work at home. What am I going to do for myself? And then in the evening, um, uh, I do an evening uh, yoga routine, and then I take baths, serum, wash face, all that good stuff. And I just recently, yesterday, added to my routine this product, Donkey Milk Sleeping Mask. You see, I also take milk baths, and that's when my skin really started to flourish, is I take milk baths. And of all the milks to take a milk bath in, Donkey Milk is the creme de la creme. 
It's also 20 bucks a freaking jug. And then I went online and I found a whole bunch of reviews. And then I tried it last night myself. I applied it liberally. This is smooth. It's creamy. It doesn't go on greasy. It goes right in. And the next day when I washed my face after my yoga routine, um, even right now, it's been hours later, I still feel a softness on my skin. Now, I intend to use this for a few days um, just to see if I get any changes. And then if I do get um, good results, I will back off and start using it like once a week, like it'll be my Sunday ritual or something. Another thing I, I do now is I take a lot of selfies. Uh, some of the selfies I'm doing, most of the selfies actually, are so I can track my progress. And that is the point behind this video. I wanted to show you guys my progress uh, so you can see and what's going on. I mean, this is like a, a year apart when I started doing retin -A, and this is where I'm starting from, November 2018. And you can see the the weight on my neck and shoulders. Uh, in April, I'm even bigger, despite my best efforts. Come January, I'm starting to lose the weight finally. And you can see the weight loss. And then I got went to the hospital and went back out and got into face yoga and really started to work on it and this is where you can see the weight really start to drop off my face also my right side which had been drooping lifted my lips are plumper um the drawback and of course my eyes appear bigger I, i've noticed that my eyes appear bigger and better. but the drawback is my skin because i'm no yet spring chicken is uh, not catching up quickly with the weight loss so it's sagging more um this is not going to discourage me from doing face yoga it just gives me a reason to work harder. And so now we have what I look like now. Let me reiterate, this isn't a beauty channel, but um, people sharing their stories really helps other people who are struggling, maybe getting a little frustrated, feel like it's not gonna work, um, for a while there, I was thinking it wasn't going to work. And then one day I realized that my skin was sagging and I said, oh no, I'm getting old. And then I sat down and I looked at my progression and I was like, oh, it isn't that I'm old, although that's part of it. It's that I lost so much weight. The skin hasn't been able to catch up because, well, I'm middle aged. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you're rude, I'm going to ignore you.